Security agencies have blamed ethnic differences to the recent attacks in Bundibujo, Kasese, and in Toroko districts. The fallout can probably be compared to a volcanic eruption following the long simmering tension between the smaller Bamba and the larger Bakonzo communities. President Museveni has always argued that cultural institutions promote unity and development in their areas, but some scholars on politics and good governance posit that the return of monarchies could lead the country in a dangerous path to ethnic chauvinism. A policy analyst, Godbert Mushavi, who is also the director of Great Lakes Institute for Strategic Studies, says the foundation on which monarchies were reintroduced was faulty. When the government short-circuited the, 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 the constitution-making process and decided to use the army council to be able to return the properties of Buganda Kingdom. And I think that was mistake number one. That from that point, the president projected himself as the giver of kingdom, kingdoms and kingdom properties. So you no longer, you don't have uh, a, a system where the traditionalists or the monarchists are negotiating with the citizens of Uganda, with the former institutions of state, to say this is the institution. In 1993, President Museveni restored the four main kingdoms, Buganda, Bunyoro, Toro, and Busoga that President Milton Obote abolished in 1966. But as months turned into years, the president bent over backwards to demands from other cultural leaders to create new kingdoms and chiefdoms. Tumushave urges that the president opened a Pandora's box that could only be closed at a very high cost. Now, it, it should have been very easy to say we will restore kingdoms uh, that existed in 1967 and be able to build upon that and create a more a, a dynamic system where there is mutual recognition and mutual respect between these institutions and government. But we've seen government deliberately create these small kingdoms. And, and, and unless one is naive, you realize that it is clearly uh, deliberate to actually reduce the powers of the existing kingdoms. In an attempt to protect young kingdoms and chiefdoms, President Museveni has on many occasions ordered security agencies to resist what he calls intimidation from the mighty kingdoms. Bump action! For today, no, my highness. I... You are here I to fight here. for the Babuisi No, your highness. <laughs> The result of this approach manifested in the 2009 Kayunga riots when Buganda Premier John Baptist Walusimbi was blocked from going to Kayunga, an area under the Sabanyala, to prepare for the Kabaka's visit. The Kabaka was also blocked. This played out last year when government blocked the Omsinga or the King of Renzuru Kingdom from traveling to Bundibujo district, largely occupied by the Bamba ethnic group. You see, the moment the government becomes an active player in a potentially controversial policy agenda or process like this one, it has, it has basically reduced its legitimacy to be an arbiter in this process. And, and that is the crisis in which we find ourselves. So the government cannot be the one that goes to arbitrate between the Bamba and the Bakonjo. Political history, Don Mwambutsi and Devesa shares the same sentiments. The attack government installations is because they have a feeling that it is a central government that was behind the recognition of the Bundubujo cultural institution without first negotiating it with them 
to determine the boundaries, to determine the limits of which kingdom, which cultural area, and things like that. So they, they have a grudge with the center. The return of Buganda Kingdom's properties also escalated grievances between cultural institutions and the central government. But there are also other kingdoms that are demanding properties. A, a government that wants to create harmony, you would see that government sit, maybe write even a white paper, and say, this is how we will resolve the properties of kingdoms. And you do it once and for all. But you see, you, you can't do it on a case-by-case -case basis. You exclude others, include this one. Both political analysts read sinister moves behind the president's mind game. Once we allow you to have your king, what is in it for us? When the, when, uh, when, uh, the other community says, no, for us we want our own district, you go in a transaction. If we give you a district, you will support us. Whether President Museveni is trying to smoothen the rough edges of different cultural institutions ahead of the 2016 elections, or moving to create a better country of peace and unity through mutual respect, time will be the ultimate bearer of truth as regards Uganda's future. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.